hey you guys okay so welcome back to my channel and today i decided to do another story time while i eat my today i got some jamaican food so i got some oxtails and some macaroni and cheese and this is just not no regular macaroni and cheese this is some jerk mac and cheese I got my salad, which is a cucumber Jamaican salad. I got some, I don't know if you can see, I got some uh, cabbage and some, let's see, plantains. If you can see my plantain on there. So yeah, I got that. And I also, because every time I go get Jamaican food, I can never leave without getting um, cocoa bread because I love me some cocoa bread. and I also got me some curry chicken yeah I'm gonna munch on that and trust me I'm gonna try to eat all of this because I'm really really hungry really really hungry so let me move this back over here so yeah, so I said, while I eat today, and I'm going to just, oh, and I also, well, I got it from Wendy's, but they have this new uh, pineapple mango drink. I have it in my Taco Bell cup because um, it's smaller. So I just poured it in that because I pour my drink out and put it in there so yeah i washed it so but it's good so i, I prefer this little drink but yeah this is when these mango pineapple mango and it's new and every wendy's don't have it because i had to go to a certain one to get it so today as i promised i said i would start doing story time um, so this story time, as you can see by the title, is about paranormal experience that I had. A lot of people don't believe in paranormal, and neither did I until I had had this experience. So I'm going to tell you my story of what happened to me, and if you have some stories to share... Put it down in the comments i would love to read them because this is really something that you can't really just talk about with anybody because people would be like oh, so i'm gonna go actually before i get started i found a couple of stories um myself that I wanted to share, like, a little bit of. You'll see them right here. So while I eat a little bit of this food, go ahead and just listen to that. And then... You walk again. And then I don't see anything else for like five seconds and I'm like, oh my god, where did it go? Is it gone? And then I look at the end of my bed. So I go from looking in the hallway at the end of my bed. I see it through the mirror at the end of my bed. And I'm looking and I'm like... And I start like freaking out and I couldn't talk. I couldn't move. I was like stuck. I was looking at it right next to me and it's getting closer and closer. It's getting from the end of my bed to closer to my face and I'm just trying to scream my mom's name. I'm trying and it won't come out and finally I get up the strength and I'm like Mah! like that's how scared I was. It came out with Mah! because I could not get the sound out and it disappeared. But I went those few room, seconds when it was getting to the living room my mom and my aunt's faces were pale all i remember is my aunt being like let's go let's go and they had already opened the door they were already running out the door i was like what what happened i told them i was like what happened as we were going to the car 
and my aunt just tells me we saw a shadow my heart dropped i was like what we got into the car as fast as we can my mom was like we're leaving this house like we're not coming back and i and come to find out that my when uncle started telling us that he had been having sleep paralysis and he hadn't had sleep paralysis for a very long time he only had it when he was younger as soon as they started staying here he started having sleep paralysis again and when i asked him like okay so yeah so with that being said growing up i used to be like when I hear people say stuff, I would be like, no, that didn't happen. Even though one time when I was little, something weird did happen. And I may or may not bring that up in this video. Because I always wondered, you know, what did I really see? But, like I said, as I was growing up, I was like, okay, you know, that don't happen. So, to my story now. So, basically, I was, um, I want to say this happened, I don't know if Coco Bear, I want to say this happened, Because I know I was, I was in Oklahoma. I was in Oklahoma when this happened. I was living, I should say, in Oklahoma when this happened. But I wasn't in Oklahoma when it happened. I was taking a friend to see her, her family. In Louisiana. Mm. I am hungry. So I'm taking a friend to Louisiana to see her family, and I got up and drove there. And where we went wasn't really far from where I live, no. it was more so like, I say, I wanna say like a three or four hour drive. So it wasn't too far from where I lived. So yeah, like about four, four hours. So anyways, we get to the house, you know, where her family is. And she's like, you can, you know, sleep in my old room. You know, because she grew up there, I guess, or that was her room when she, when she lived there with her family. So I go to sleep that night. Just thinking about it, it's giving me like a creeps. Like I said, this was a long time ago. I'm gonna say like in maybe 2006 or 2007. That's how long ago this was. So I'm asleep. Hadn't been drinking or nothing. Nothing. Just sleep. So in the morning. I kind of like, this is where it get creepy. Cause it's like how it is right now. It's early in the morning, like about eight o'clock in the morning, like how it is right now. So it's not dark in the room. And um, I'm laying on my stomach. Um, I hear something like boom or like to this day, 
I don't know if it was a thump or something jumped on the bed or I know this is this sound crazy y'all I ain't trying to scare nobody but I wanted to share my story because there's some people who I know have experienced some weird stuff you know me wanting to talk about it or whatever be scared to talk about it but like I don't know if something jumped on the bed or the bed slammed down or I don't know to this day I don't know but I know I was laying on my stomach on my on the bed sleep. And when I felt the thump or the jump, my instant reaction was to roll over to my back. So I rolled over to my back. And then that's when like it happened so fast, so I'm gonna try to explain it to y'all the way I experienced it. So I I rolled over to my back. And it was almost, this is going to sound crazy. It was almost like the room was swaying. Like how I can I only can describe, describe it as like, um, like tunnel, like not tunnel vision, but like, okay, like say you were in some water and you were looking up at something. That's kind of what it looked like. Like if I was in the water and I opened my eyes and I looked up at a boat or whatever is above the water, it'll be swaying. That's what it looked like to me. It was like I rolled over and at that split moment, I'm looking around and I realize I can't move. And a lot of people will say, because after that happened to me, I started reading a lot about paranormal activity or about um, what is it called? Sleep paralysis. I started reading a lot, a lot about sleep paralysis because I was up. I could see everything in the room. The room was just swaying. And this is the part that really, really had me freaked out because for that split second when it happened so fast, I didn't know what was going on. I just knew the room was swaying. And I could hear people talking in the other room because everybody was like up and they were in a kitchen area or something from what I could hear. So I'm not asleep, sleep, because I could hear people talking in the other room. And then I hear something like, it was like a, a woman's voice. And it was like, I want you out of here. And it was said it so calmly. It wasn't mean. I just heard a voice say, I want you out of here. And I was just like, what the? So I tried to get up and run. But I realized I couldn't move. All I could do was hear them. And it's weird because the voice wasn't like scary. It didn't scare me. It j it did scare me, but not, um, not in a way. I, I'm trying to explain like, it wasn't the voice that scared me. It was what was happening that was scary to me. And so I was just like, because I couldn't move and because it almost felt like something was, was holding me down. And the only thing I could move was my eyes. So that's why, you know, Sleep paralysis sound familiar, but this experience was just kind of creepy. If that is sleep paralysis, because like I've had situations in life where you sleep and then you feel like something is on you, you know, like how they say, um, you feel like something is, is weighing on you or laying on you. I've had those experiences a few times in life as a kid and a teenager. This was, this was so different. So basically, all I could do, or what I, all I ended up doing was just closing my eyes and saying, Father, protect me. Because that was the first thing for protection that I could, that came to my mind is just to say, Father, protect me. And soon, because I couldn't even scream. Like I, I, I not only could not move, I couldn't scream, I couldn't do nothing. The only thing I could move was my eyes. And that was so weird to me. And so instantly, 
soon as I said, Father, protect me. My screams started coming out of my mouth. I was so scared. So then once my screams started coming out of my mouth, I could I could run. So I'm pushing the covers off. I'm screaming to the top of my head, my lungs. Um, they are now running towards the room because they could hear me freaking out. And by the time they got to the door, I was at the door. And I just ran through everybody. And I was like, I want to get out of here. I was so scared. Like, that freaked me out so bad to where... Because it was something that's not explainable. And nobody could explain it to me. And I know what I... I know what I experienced was real to me. Very real to me. And I would really appreciate if anybody who has ever had a weird paranormal experience or um, sleep paralysis experience to please share that with, with me in the comments below because I did not sleep. After that happened, I did not sleep for like a week. And for almost a year after that, I was just researching those type of experiences to see if other people had, had experienced something even close to that. So that messed me up. And I'll never forget that. This was years ago, so. So now it, that almost kind of, you never had an experience in your life that kind of like changed your life or changed how you look at life. Well, that was one of those moments because that messed me up. So I started looking at things differently. I started looking at life differently. And I started to, you know, not take so much things um, for granted. And now every time I move somewhere or I'm you know, go somewhere, I bless it. I bless it. And now it's almost like I don't really stay too much at people's homes anymore. And I don't, I don't let people, anybody come into mine. And if too many people come into mine, I bless it a while after, you know, they leave and stuff. Because I remember one time, and I didn't really understand that either, but I understand it now. Um, there was this, because I used to do hair, and there was this, um, I want to say she was, her nationality was, Jewish or something. She was like Jewish. I think she was from somewhere over where like um Egypt or somewhere. And she used to ask me to do her hair. But this one day, cause like I worked like I said, I've said this in other videos before that I used to work at a mall doing hair. So they used to um, work in the mall too. And so that's how I met them. And they came over here to work in the mall and sell products. So that's how we met. And I'm doing her hair. But one day I couldn't do her hair um, at work. So she wanted me to do her hair at the house. And her and one of her other... Um, friends came by the house and I noticed when they came over and I opened the door first they looked they looked they they felt around and I was thinking like what are they doing come in but 
then she started smiling and she came in and she was like, oh my God, I am, she said, it's, there's a warmth feeling in this house. It's so welcoming. Um, you know, I, I haven't felt this type of energy in a house before you have good energy in your home. And she was explaining that to me. And I was like, oh, that's why you were standing there. And she was like, yeah, she said, you can't go in everybody's home. That's like a belief that they have. You can't go in everybody's home because you know of the type of energy that lingers in there or something and i was like okay no no thank you you know but she said my the energy in my home was warm and welcoming so i thought about that once that happened to me that um energy is real and whatever that was that I experienced, I don't ever want to experience that again. Because that was so scary. Um, like, I was so scared. I went to the casino and just played the slot machines from sunup to sundown. Trying to get my mind right because of what had happened, and that's pretty much the story of my experience with either paranormal activity or sleep paralysis. Which, if that's sleep paralysis, it seems so real. So. Yeah, this was good drama. These oxtail and it's not too far from my house, so that's a good thing. I don't go all the time. They like, pretty expensive, but I go. And I don't feel like cooking. And or I'm working. I'm gonna be working all day today. But I have to. I mean, I thought I was gonna be able to eat all this. But you know, when you're hungry, you get a lot of food. And then you'd be like, I'm gonna eat all this. And then you get full and you'd be like, well, I'll try it. But yeah, I'm gonna eat some of this. Mmm. I wish, I mean, I think I could maybe try to make these one day, but they're going to be the same. Because I love the flavors of jerk. Mm. So, anywho, that's my story for today. I hope you enjoyed my story time. And if you want to hear more stories or more, um, ratings on food or whatever it may be because i'm not gonna limit my channel to just one thing whatever i feel like doing at that time is what i'll do but it will majority be an even channel um for now and i'll throw some diys in there every now and then or some resource information but like i say if you um, enjoy my story, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You'll notice my energy changes with whatever mood I'm in. Sometimes I'm bubbly. Sometimes I'm kind of just laid back. Depending on my mood. Because when I'm hungry. Some people don't like me when I'm hungry. Because I get real moody if I'm hungry. Anybody get moody when you're hungry? I get moody when I'm hungry. Sometimes I'm funny. Unintentionally. And sometimes I'm just laid back. So, it depends on what day you catch me.
The the jerk mac and cheese was all right, but I rather I rather I rather just have regular mac and cheese because that jerk kind of was overpowering the mac and cheese a little. But this is good. The oxtail was good. Chapter was all right. I love the plantains. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and eat it later because I'm full. But it was good. So. Chop on that. Even if you got some ideas of something that you want me to talk about or want me to do. Please comment and let me know. I always read my comments. And I always appreciate my new subscribers. I have a... I did a challenge the other day. And it was the World's Hottest Gummy Challenge. And let me tell you. Don't do it. If you want to check that out, it's on my channel. I'll try to tag it to this one but don't do it and i have other challenges that i'm gonna do but i gotta get my mind right because that was a bad experience that's all i'm saying that was a bad experience so that's all i got for you today that was my experience with paranormal activity or sleep paralysis Tell me which one you think it was. And I'm out. See you next time.